Okay, um, Kane. So I'm reading your writing. Um, this is definitely an eye opener, but it also raises the question of is this sort of design strategy just too much work? Um, I don't really know exactly what that comment really. Do you think there's too much work in this class? Is that what you're saying? Um, or do you think sustainability in general is just too much work uh, for, for, for folks to consider? Um, or are you saying sustainability is too much work in design? So I, I think it's really important to understand that you're going to face this every day in your career. Once you, once you graduate, you get into a, a studio, which I can't think of what, a design studio today that's not sustainable. Um, and it, it, you're going to really, really be asked to, to take this stuff pretty darn seriously. So I'm saying, you know, learn it now. Get as much done as you can now um, in the learning process instead of saying, wow, this is a lot of work. I think it's just really a good idea to jump into it, dive into it so that when you are faced with these types of discussions and decisions in your, um, in your design career, that you're well equipped to face those discussions and those decisions. I hope I'm making sense. Let's jump over to your, um, your, uh, uh, your, your, your presentation here. And I just wanna take a look at your, your materials breakdown. Um, okay, it, it's, I'm just gonna be honest with you. It sounds like you're trying to fight me about the paper clips. Um, and, and, and that's great. If you want to use paper clips, use paper clips. If in my design studio, if this were my project, I would not allow paper clips. It, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Um, another thing is I, I, I don't want that you to, to think that my comparison of the seeds was a, a recommendation for your work. It wasn't. It was merely an example. Okay, so so for you to say um, the item may or may, may not have seeds based on feedback, that's that's irrelevant. That was just an example. Okay, um, my collateral is supposed to be printed on 100% post-consumer recycled paper with the two color. There's no eco font involved with the collateral being. I feel it would take away from the design. I, I don't. I, I I don't. I don't know what that means. Um, booth is constructed from recycled. That, that's this is this is great, and and this is uh, this stuff is all good stuff. But if you take a look at the project requirements over here, you're supposed to label your work this week here, label and describe as appropriate. So all this material here, you want to get up here, and you want to label everything. You know, Shh, don't tell me what that you're using a paper stone countertop. Label it. Come over here. Tell me what a paper stone countertop is. Give me a paragraph on why it's sustainable. And same thing with everything here. Instead of just saying two paper, recycle paper, two point, I mean, point to the hinge where you're talking about and tell us why it's sustainable. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, uh, paper clips. And then deforestation, how it affects our world. And again, this is a flyer. And the flyer is, it doesn't matter how sustainable the flyer is it, it's going to end up in the garbage that's why i think some of the more creative product projects are using something other than a flyer so um, other than that i think you're doing awesome great job um just keep on working and listen one of the things you have to keep in mind is that you know you, you don't necessarily design and then go try to find the materials you know what I'm saying? It's 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 probably better in, in in this type of a design project to find out what's out there and available, and then design accordingly. And that's what we spent all that time in the first two weeks, and especially at the beginning of this this week in the um, book chapters, reading about materials. So I just I'm a little concerned about the horse being put in front of the buggy here, so to speak. So in a situation like this, the, a protocol would be to make yourself familiar with what's out there, then design accordingly instead of design and then say, oh, okay, now I need this. For, you know what I'm saying? That would be a, a difficult um, uh, endeavor in itself. Okay. Any questions? Give me a holler. Thanks.